What's up YouTube? Remember to comment, like, and subscribe. So this is the Roush F-150. And um, I like it because it's like, it's low profile. Like, like some of the things I would do is I'd take that tow hitch off. Um, I'd probably lower it some. And that's just because I would never actually use it as a truck. I would um, want to make a little bit of hot rod out of it. Maybe at the most tow a jet ski with it. But you could just hook it on right there at the, at the bumper. Um, yeah, if I was going to tow something, I'd get like a F-250. Which a lot of people are going with the 1500 just because they don't want to mess with the diesel. I understand, but um, an F-250 would be something that you can plan on keeping for a while and you do a lot of towing. If you're just towing a boat on the weekends, then um, F-150 would be the way to go. And they have a few, but they don't have many. I think, I think that's a Rouge up there. But this, I want to say it's like 75000 Oh, look, you got stuff right there, too. So this Jack Roush, 66000 And then it's just got like a couple trim pieces. It's probably like a waste of money. Oh, no, they won almost 90000 for it. So they put almost no no money into it. And then they want forty thousand for it. That's that's ridiculous. So you're getting charged all that labor really. And let's see. What do they make? We'll just say four hundred horsepower. So then a supercharger is probably putting it at about 600. 600 horsepower, probably 600 pounds of torque for $90,000. And you probably talk about something that can only go zero to 60 in about five seconds. It's a lot of money to be slow. You can buy something else. Be at least zero to 60 in four seconds. And for that amount of money, you could probably get, it could get you a used M4 and still be faster. It just depends on what you want. So this right here is just a regular F-150. Let's see, this is XLT. It's not too bad. There's the interior, if you can see it. Not too bad. There's the VIN number if you want to look it up yourself. I, I, don't, I don't see it. To me, that's just a waste of money. And then of course you got your Ford Explorer and then you got the Bronco over there. So there's that and then there's the Dodge dealership. So the Dodge dealership, I um, submitted my information. I told them I wanted my um, my CPM to be about $35. So for every thousand views, you get $35. And that's just for the pandemic. Some people charge between 20 and 30. Um, I kind of know where I'm going to go with this channel. So that's the reason why I upped it to 35. But they won't even return my call. But I think is what happened is um, the person I gave the information to, I think, I think they just didn't give it to the owner. So um, I have to wait till the owner gets in and... Um, resubmit my information and and just you know 
explain to them that the well just you know do an interview and then i can explain what all's going on and stuff like that but for the most part um i'm not really hating i, I know people get jealous and probably the information just got thrown away intentionally though but you don't know maybe maybe they don't want to do business with me but um it's no longer a brick and mortar business. It's uh, pretty much virtual. Everything's on the internet now. And um, you can't sell cars like that anymore. I mean, there was just like, I'm right here and I don't know, it's like a Wednesday, Thursday, I don't remember. And it's around noon time and there's just, there's no customers up here. There's nobody buying cars, but um, they don't understand that on the internet you got customers all over the world that want cars. But um, it's new, so you know they'll learn. Everybody's growing from all this. Um, pandemic set a new way of selling stuff, and um, that's selling online. So eventually, all these companies will come around. Not really hating on anyone. Alright, so remember to comment, like, and subscribe.